We first told you about Justin Payne, the pedophile hunter, last year. Our cameras were rolling as he chased down a man who thought he was meeting a young boy he'd been chatting with online. While Justin has done hundreds of these controversial stings, this is a first. And good evening. These are just some of the chats between a 40-year-old man in Alabama and what he believes to be a 13-year-old boy in this city. I do want you to know that the texts and the phone calls you're about to hear are disturbing, but they do offer a rare glimpse into online grooming. It starts with a wink and a friend request. He said hello and I said hello. Uh, within two to three messages, as, as always, I say that I'm a 13-year-old boy and he accepted it. Six minutes after they begin texting, this 40-year-old man asks for pictures from a boy he believes to be 13 years old. 11 minutes later, a creepy shirtless photo and requests for the boy to do the same. On the third day, uh, he started asking for penis pictures, nude photographs, and describing sexual things that he wanted to do. But it's the phone calls that provide an even more disturbing glimpse into just how a predator grooms his prey. You don't have to be shy around me. What do you mean? You can ask me anything, send me pictures of whatever, you know. But trust me, it feels real good. Yeah. What was, like, the youngest yeah. that you looked at, though, in the pictures? Uh, 13. Yeah. That's, like, yeah. that's, like, the age you like. Yeah. This 40-year-old man lives in Alabama. He continuously flatters, reassures, and normalizes this long-distance relationship with a 13-year-old. Your mom don't know, does she? No, because I'm only 13 years old. She would probably get mad at me, and I don't want to get in trouble. You know what they would do to me? What would they, what would who do to you? <laughs> Your mom would probably have me locked up. So I, we, 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 we can't, like, we can't tell anybody. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. Just one week after that first chat, Jimmy is making plans to travel to Toronto from Alabama to visit the 13-year-old boy, someone he's now calling his boyfriend and claims to love. Yes, yeah, wait. <laughs> Me too. I can't wait for you to get here. That's going to be so cool. Yep. Well, trust me, baby, I'm coming. One way or another. Because I love you. Yeah, I would take care of you. I wouldn't hurt you. I wouldn't let nobody else hurt you. He sent penis pictures. Uh, he begged for nude photographs of Christopher. Um, he was a classic case of an, like a, a, a grade A pedophile. It's always the same. I mean, like I said, friendship in the beginning and then it progresses, their fantasies and everything come out. But despite posing as a young girl or a boy thousands of times online over the past year That's and carrying out hundreds of public confrontations like this one. I don't even know who you are. I'm a vigilante pedophile hunter. Justin Payne has never had something like this happen before. Yes, wait. A 40-year-old man makes plans to drive all the way from Alabama to Toronto to claim what he thinks is his young prize. Do you know, like, when, though, you might get here? Probably uh, next week, like a Wednesday, maybe Thursday. So, like, when you get here, do you think you're going to stay in a hotel? Or are you going to come when my mom goes away to Nova Scotia? Yeah, I'd rather really stay with you. The whole goal is to get this guy from Alabama across into Canada in the hopes of having him charged. Yeah. But then a fatal error. Justin accidentally posts a video on his hugely popular Facebook page that shows Jimmy's telephone number. This was uh, a day or two before he was supposed to be traveling to Canada. Probably over a thousand people called him. He was bombarded by phone calls. Yeah. It completely all fell apart. It all fell apart. And it's, I feel terrible. How much time and energy and how much, how much the things I had to listen to from this person, it's sickening. Jimmy in Alabama has disappeared, but Justin says the evidence he gathered over those eight days is a valuable tool for parents and their children. What I've done is I've been able, I was able to show everybody the inside look on how they talk to the kids. Justin, meanwhile, is on to the next target and now has an even bigger team. We have female decoys. Uh, we have basically like uh, research analysts and things like that to be able to find out information about these individuals. But most importantly, we now we have security. 
Is that you? <laughs> so what does that mean doing security? Um, just making sure that Justin's safe, that these guys aren't being attacked by, uh, by the public because we do arouse quite a, quite a scene when we're out there. Justin's online presence is also being felt by the very people he's trying to lure. You've actually had people ask in these chats, is this Justin Payne? Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, typically, like in the beginning, they'd ask, is this a police officer? And now they're asking, is it me?